Hello and welcome to the Wayne State University Fall Semester Commencement Ceremony. My name is David Strauss and as the Dean of Students, it is my privilege and honor to recognize and celebrate our graduating class of 2020. This year has presented all of us with unprecedented challenges, but our students have shown their warrior strength through their perseverance and dedication. This is no small feat, and their achievements are made all the greater by the difficulties and uncertainties they have endured. I believe there's no limit to what our students can accomplish, and today marks the first of many steps they will take towards securing a brighter future for everyone. On behalf of the Dean of Students Office, the Student Senate, and all the student organizations, let me be the first to congratulate each of our students on this momentous occasion. The confirmation and celebration of Wayne State University's class of 2020. I would now like to introduce our Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Lori Lozon Klebo. Thank you, Dean Strauss. Congratulations to all of you for reaching this day. In spite of these very unusual circumstances, this is a celebration for the entire university. For over 150 years, Wayne State University has anchored the city of Detroit as an engaged and motivated community of scholars. Wayne State is one of the nation's 50 largest public universities with Michigan's most diverse student body. Today, nearly 27,000 students from almost every U.S. state and many countries around the world are pursuing degrees at Wayne State. Each one is earning an education at a nationally ranked research university strengthened by the culture, industry, and the diversity of its urban setting. We believe in the definition of a university as a place where highly motivated people of differing backgrounds and aspirations may pursue both knowledge and personal growth. I know all of you gathered here today have been able to experience all that this great university has to offer. You have grown in knowledge and developed your skills in the fields you have all chosen. You have made us all very proud of you. I know that each of you went through a lot to get to this point, but this moment is not only for you, but also for your families and friends who've made a lot of sacrifices so that you could succeed. There is no such thing as a self-made woman or man. We are all shaped by the influence and examples of everyone around us. Family, friends, faculty, all have helped you get to this day. They are all teachers and mentors in their own way. If a supportive member of your life is with you now, please give them a hug, an air hug, a socially distant elbow bump, or whatever is appropriate to let them know how much you appreciate them. If they're not with you right now, sometime today, give them a call. Let them know how much their support has meant to you. On behalf of the more than 2,600 faculty, academic staff, advisors, the deans of our 13 colleges and schools, and others who have taught you in virtual classrooms, worked with you in labs, guided you in real world settings, and met with you in their offices, we extend our deepest congratulations. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Honorable Marilyn Kelly, Chair of the University's Board of Governors, who will bring greetings on behalf of the board, Governor Kelly. Greetings to each of you on this very special day. On behalf of the members of the Board of Governors, it's my pleasure to welcome the graduates of the Class of 2020 and give you our deepest and most heartfelt congratulations. This has been a remarkable and challenging year for all of you, and your graduation comes at a time when the world around us is undergoing significant change. But we want your graduation and the tremendous accomplishments you've achieved to get the appropriate recognition they deserve. 
Commencement is the culmination of big dreams and hopes for the future. You've all worked incredibly hard to reach this moment, and you should be proud, as we are, of your accomplishments. Wayne State is an outstanding institution, and today you join more than one quarter of a million alumni who call our university their alma mater. Your dedication and commitment have brought you to this moment and have set the path for your future success. We know the warrior spirit runs strong in each of you, and as this past year has proven, it will guide you well in future endeavors. Congratulations from the Board of Governors and our best wishes to you and to your families on this wonderful milestone. Now, please welcome Linda Beal, President of the Academic Senate and Professor of Law, who will bring greetings on behalf of the faculty. Thank you. And greetings to you, our graduates, and your families and friends who have supported you throughout your time here at Wayne. On behalf of the university's entire faculty and academic staff, some of whom are participating in this virtual commencement and some who could not be here. We all heartily congratulate you on your graduation today, an especially significant milestone in this year of difficulties caused by the global pandemic. You have succeeded through your studies and your research with excellent faculty in your field and with the support of our academic staff, all of whom have invested in your success, both here at the university and in your future life. We hope that you will continue your pursuit of learning, and we look forward to hearing about your next endeavors, your adventures in discovery, and in engaging with the world around you. Please keep in touch with us. You can tweet us, Facebook us, email us, call us. We are eager to know what you are doing in your life. Those messages from our former students gladden our hearts and they make even the toughest days brighter. So once again, congratulations. I and all the faculty who have worked with you in your studies here applaud you and we wish you success in all that you do. Thank you. It is now with distinct pleasure that I introduce Wayne State's 12th president, Dr. M. Roy Wilson. Thank you, Dean Strauss. Greetings, graduates, and congratulations. If we were all in the Fox Theater right now, as we would have preferred, you would have seen the room crowded with all the people so happy to celebrate your success. Parents, siblings, spouses, children, professors, and advisors. So until we can offer you that in-person experience, you have to imagine those crowds smiling and cheering for you now. We are so very proud of you, and it is my honor and privilege to share this moment with you. The class of 2020 will forever hold a special place in Wayne State's history. You've weathered unprecedented challenges over the past nine months because of this pandemic that has altered life as we know it. More than perhaps any other graduating class in our 152 year history, you have proven yourselves as warriors, strong, persistent, creative, adaptable, courageous, and kind. You understand better than perhaps any generation in a very long time, how the unpredictable can suddenly rear up and change our lives. Many of you grew up in a post 9-11 world when you might have turned on the morning news to see planes crashing into skyscrapers. You survived multiple recessions. You have reckoned with a deadly virus that swept the globe and took hundreds of thousands of lives. You have borne witness to a national awakening to the systemic racism that still plagues this country. The class of 2020 has endured all this trauma, but you didn't just endure. Many of you have thrived, finding an inner calling to become social justice activists or healthcare heroes, or simply more thoughtful, better informed neighbors and citizens in your communities. The world is unpredictable. 
Life is unpredictable. This will never change. You, however, have changed. I wonder if you realize just how much you've changed since you first arrived on this campus. You are better equipped to face that world and thrive and make it a better place because of your time here at Wayne State University. You've learned from the finest faculty who have stretched your intellects and challenged you to push yourself further than you ever have before. You've worked incredibly hard to the point of exhaustion. And by living and learning in the heart of Detroit, you have learned what it means to be a compassionate and engaged member of your community. Industry, intelligence, integrity. These are the words engraved in the Wayne State University seal. And those are the gifts you carry with you as you enter the next chapter of your lives. It may be hard to see in such dark times, but even now, incredible opportunities will present themselves. And because of your time at Wayne State, you are ready to take advantage of them. Louis Pasteur once observed, chance favors the prepared mind. Each of you is prepared for whatever life may bring. And for this reason, I am confident for our shared future in America. Congratulations once again, class of 2020. You are warriors in name and spirit, and I wish you nothing but the very best of life. Thank you, President Wilson. Now we begin the traditional part of the ceremony, the formal acknowledgement of the candidates for degrees and the conferring of those degrees. I would like to ask Provost Klebo to join us to present the candidates. Mr. President, over 3,100 students were eligible and applied to graduate during the 2020 spring, summer, and fall semesters from our 13 schools and colleges. These candidates will now be acknowledged for their degrees by the Dean. From the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, the Master and Bachelor degree candidates will be presented by Dean Stephanie Hartwell. Dean Hartwell. Mr. President, upon the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, I have the honor to acknowledge these candidates for the degrees as listed in the commencement program book. Ladies and gentlemen, now the most solemn moment of commencement as the president confers the degrees. Mr. President. The authority to confer each of these degrees is vested in the Board of Governors of Wayne State University by the people of the state of Michigan under the Constitution of the state. This authority is delegated to the president by the board. Each of these degrees is granted on the recommendation of the faculty of the university. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors and upon the recommendation of the respective faculties, I do hereby confer upon you the degree for which the faculties have recommended you, and I admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of that degree. Congratulations. Thank you, President Wilson. For all those who are with us today, please join me in congratulating all of the graduates for their efforts and accomplishments. Back to you, Dean Strauss. Thank you, Provost Klebo. I would now like to welcome Dean Hartwell back to address the graduates from the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences and to introduce their speaker. Hi, class warriors. I'm the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences Dean, Steffi Hartwell, your dean. I know this isn't the way you expected your commencement ceremony to be, but I wanted to take a moment to let you know how proud I am of you. You've worked so hard these past four, maybe more years. You've put in the long nights. What's more, you've done it in creative and unprecedented ways. We know many of you have even worked on the front lines as essential workers throughout this pandemic. I know you'll take this knowledge, not only from the classroom, but from what you've experienced outside Wayne State and change the world for the better. This world sure needs you. You've proven yourself as warrior strong and I'm proud to call you a class warrior. Congratulations to you, class of 2020. I would now like to introduce Sarah El Hassan. Sarah graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Public Health and a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology in the winter term. 
an alumna of Fortson High School and the Dearborn Center for Math, Science, and Technology, she was drawn to Wayne State's university dedication to research and social reform. Sarah was a proud President M. Roy Wilson, Rebuild Detroit Scholar, a Ronald E. McNair Scholar, and a member of the Irvin D. Reed Honors College. Sarah's passion for giving back to her community and public service was always evident in her extracurricular endeavors. On campus, she was a cherished mentor to her peers in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences and had interned under the director of Wayne County Department of Health as well as with the state representative, Adula Hammond at the Michigan House of Representatives. Sarah was enthusiastically involved in research since her freshman year. She was a participant in the Centers for Disease Control, undergraduate public health scholars program at Johns Hopkins University and the University of California, Davis. She was a member of the Biostatistics and Epidemiology Summer tra Training Program at Columbia University Mailman School of Public Health. Sarah has presented her research at various national conferences and was recognized with an outstanding poster presentation award at the 2019 Annual Biomedical Research Conference for Minority Students in Anaheim, California. Following graduation, Sarah plans to pursue her Master's of Public Health in Epidemiology and Public Policy at the University of Michigan Ann Arbor School of Public Health. She hopes to contribute to the movement that corrects health inequalities and to further investigate the ways in which one's social, political, cultural, and economic differences influence health and well-being. Please welcome Sarah. I think a good story is one where even when the whole isn't necessarily reflective of everyone's experience, people can still find remnants of themselves in it. Class of 2020, I hope that over the next few minutes you find yourselves in the words I share. They say that hindsight is 2020, so I think it's fitting that I reflect on the last four years that I've spent at Wayne State University with my fellow 2020 graduates. I used to kind of laugh at people who posted daily affirmations, but now I have an entire wall dedicated to them in my office. Like I said, hindsight is 2020. I didn't realize how important positive quotes that resonated with me would be in keeping me sane until I found myself collecting them in the times I needed them most. I'm going to share three with you that have been mantras to me over the past few years. First, an Islamic proverb. What is meant for you will reach you, even if it is beneath two mountains. What isn't meant for you won't reach you, even if it is between your two lips. This year has been nothing short of surprises. We have all learned that life has an interesting way of reminding us that our plans are never set in stone. While this wasn't the graduation we hoped for, the vacation we planned to take, or the event we planned on attending, I'd like to think that we've become more intentional with our interactions, appreciative of our time with the ones we love, and thankful for the little things in life. John Mary once told me to get into the volume business, take more swings. There is great power in lowering the market value of rejection. I've never considered myself a risk taker. More often than not, I've played it safe and let the fear of rejection hinder me from giving something a try. With this quote in mind, I've learned that there really is great power in lowering the market value of rejection, and that oftentimes, the worst thing that someone can say is no. Don't reject yourself before e others even have a chance to consider you, and take more swings. Finally, Taylor Swift once said, without your past, you could have never arrived so wondrously and brutally, by design or some violent, exquisite happenstance, here. Our upbringings, identities, the obstacles we faced, every component of who we are has, by design or some violent, exquisite happenstance, brought us here. I am a woman in STEM, a first-generation college student, and the proud daughter of Lebanese immigrants, born and raised in one of the largest Arab American communities in the United States. I know that many of you share these experiences in some way, and I know that it was not easy getting to this point. The cards have not traditionally been in our favor. Systemic barriers, deliberately or not, have been set up to hold us back, but they've also served as motivation for us to succeed and to be an example, not an exception, of what individuals from backgrounds and communities like ours are capable of. We are our ancestors' wildest dreams. If only we could look back and tell past versions of ourselves that everything would turn out just fine, that one way or another, all of us would end up exactly where we belonged. I cannot emphasize this enough. Hindsight is 2020. But my fellow graduates, so are we. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, graduates. Go ahead and cheer. Good job. And now, I would like to introduce Peter Caborn, Associate Vice President 
for Alumni Relations and Advancement Services and Executive Director of the Wayne State University Alumni Association to welcome the university's newest alumni. Please welcome Mr. Caborn. Congratulations, graduates. You arrived at Wayne State as students, but you leave as so much more. You're powerful examples of success. You've demonstrated that with grit, opportunity, and ambition, anything is possible. When the world drastically changed this year, you were nimble, flexible, you pivoted, and you stayed focused to the finish. It was no easy feat, and that makes reaching this point of graduation even more significant. As you move your tassel from student to a graduate of the class of 2020, you also move into the Wayne State alumni community, and we are honored to have you. You now join more than 283,000 people who've also succeeded and continue to succeed. There are Wayne State alumni in every corner of Detroit, in every part of Michigan, all across the country, and all around the world. No matter where your journey takes you, you will find a Wayne State connection. We also hope that you will stay connected with us. We offer many programs and opportunities for our alumni, including ways to give back. Perhaps you're interested in mentoring students who are following in your footsteps or connecting with alumni in your career field. The Alumni Association offers this and much more. And we want to know what you're doing too. So please share your accomplishments and your updates with us as you achieve milestones throughout your journey. Keep in touch with us and view everything that we have to offer you via our website at alumni.wayne.edu. On behalf of the Alumni Association, congratulations again on your accomplishments. We can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you, Mr. Caborn. Thank you, parents, families, friends, and most of all, graduates for joining us in this wonderful celebration. And once again, congratulations, class of 2020. <laughs>